I'll just show you a sneak peek of a couple just things back when uh, back when I first bought this property Mel and I Mel and I first bought this property uh, a spitballing ideas you know you bought a new place and you're spitballing ideas and I kind of wanted something different you know I didn't want just another cookie cutter model home and I started to really build something extremely unique and so I was drawing out just uh, little old simple ideas and let me show you just little ideas that I was drawing out right here in the same pad you know spitballing out things putting it in front of your eyes thinking don't like it scrap go to the next page draw another design laying out some basic design here now I'm gonna give you a little prequel also before I do that my name is James Hightower and uh, my roots are from southern England yeah that's where my my family roots are from on my father's side on my um, on my mom's side they're both from England and, and Ireland and Scotland that whole area there they're a, a little bit of a mix from that area Irish Scottish and English blood all right there so uh, but nevertheless, on my father's side, my namesake side, is uh, we're, we're from southern England. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll capture that because my name, Hightower, and it was modified from Hyten. And there's a town there named after us and stuff. Um, right where we're from, right there. We have a lot of uh, history and roots there. Uh, it wasn't used on the TV series, but, uh, but actually in the books of uh, Game of Thrones. They used uh, the Hightower family in the book series was a big part of the Game of Thrones series too. So uh, yeah, they were also known at one of the kingdoms was the Hightowers. Sure was, check that out if you don't believe me. So anyway, with my name, I thought about, man, I'm really gonna grab on my namesake. So let me show you here. So this is it right here. I was gonna give it that semi quasi castle look I was gonna make a on the entryway some uh, faux some like cement textured looking uh, planks like a bridge in the front at the front door where you're coming in I was gonna make some steel pieces that would look like wrought iron that would anchor down in the cement there and above and I thought I would put some big ship rope coming down or some chain and make it look like it is a drawbridge at the front door that was my idea on that. Um, this is a rounded out tower, and that is would have worked out perfect because that's right where that outfit's in the front there right now, pointing towards the street. In fact, those columns, those round columns that I poured in the front, and I made that arch beam would have been right here in this area, and this would have protruded out like a, a round tower right in the front right there. And then I would have flattened it in here for the doorway and uh, kind of flattened it out right there for a set of French doors with um, a European style little balcony right on rail. I think that would have been pretty cool. I mean, it would have matched in right on what I have here now. I could almost have converted this to this right here. My garage right here. I thought about building some uh, wooden doors with some big uh steel hinge lock on there you know give it a really rusted look right where my garage is over here right now over there where those solar panels are at leaving that flat on top that was my original idea everywhere put these little features you see i'm still just drawing it a little tower come up on the corner notch it out like just like on a castle we could have built all these features right here easy we could have made all of this but this was uh just spitballing out ideas this was one of my original plans on this and then i was drawing me out a little bit of uh what it would look like inside as well i was going to put that out in the front facing like that and that would have all been built in this rounded out little tower here in the front and then the rear 
I was gonna build another tower like that as well. And the same as I have this terrace going across the back here now, right there would have been a rounded out area with that terrace and there would have been a set of spiral stairs. They would have went up inside the house to each floor. It would have had a place to come off at the first floor, I mean at the uh, second floor, and then we had a place that would have come off onto the roof deck as well. And then this would have still been all a flat roof deck up there. So uh, that was my original plans. And then what I was gonna do inside of this tower where it sticks up right there, right here in the front, was hide my water tank. Put a great big poly water tank up inside of that and it would have been hid and that would have utilized that space right there. This way it would have been right here. Originally I was just showing a the garage there. Of course later we built the garage on out down through here. But I was just kind of laying out like this would have been the bottom floor of a living room, kitchen on the other side, a dining, uh, a downstairs CR and a storage closet and a study area. Then of course there'd been a spiral big, this would have been huge spiral stairs that would have went up to a second floor and then I would have laid out my bedroom and all there. So that's pointing out towards the beach here. It's my perimeter walls, my back gates where the boat is back there now, my diagonal fence over here. Uh, I think, yeah, there's where I was laying out for the upstairs. These were just rough beginning drawings, you know, before I would have put it off into the computer and started building it off inside of there. Just little preliminary thoughts. And when you when you do these things, you know, I was laying out my lot right there exactly the way it is. So, uh, and that was just one of several designs that I was coming up with. Uh, spitballing ideas, you know, you're excited, you're gonna build something lifelong and you want to build something rememberable and I uh, I don't know I couldn't make up my mind on that design I don't know if it would have felt like too cheesy I don't know I could have put a uh, in the walls I could have still cast form these walls what I could have done was nailed PVC tube split PVC tube in half nailed it to the inside of the forms into a big stone like big, huge uh, brick slab stone design, like some castles, you know, or like a uh, two foot by three foot, you know, like big piece of like stone stack. It would have gave that appearance. Could have split those PVC tubes, say like a three quarter inch, split it, nailed it in the form. It would have made a curve cast into that, uh, made that pattern in the back. Could have done it. And, uh, Put that on there and when it cast it and pulled it you would have had the appearance just like if that was great big uh quarried stone or something stacked up and building this the ideas are endless all you gotta do is follow your dream overseeing the plumbing project as well here so uh, they've been busy moving stirrups and cutting tube and dry fitting everything right now before they'll come back and put solvent on all of it you know I want to tell you all something I love building I've loved creating things anywhere from um, construction like this to mechanical stuff, engines and transmissions and anything that makes something function out there, you know? The functionality of it all. I love it. And you know, this may look all rough to a lot of people, you know, all oh, just the construction, the rough, the framework, you know, the, the steel and the popping and the tubing and just the plywood nail down and all of this mechanical side of it it's not that finished out slick form beauty yet but this is beautiful to me i love sitting right here i'm so happy up here 
because I love the mechanics of it all. I love seeing that skeleton of that rebar on these uh, on these beams and all here and these columns and that electrical. I'm, I guess that's just that that person I am. I love it. Actually, I was sitting here thinking before I picked up this camera and decided to record for you guys. I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of people, they come up here and they just see a lot of steel and plywood and pipes. You probably don't see no beauty in it at all. None at all. And uh, once this concrete's poured over the top of this and it's all sealed away, it'll never be seen again until years from now whenever it's in some kind of disarray our demolition phase years from now all of this won't be seen again other through this vlog you know and uh, I think it's a shame you know in a way because this is what makes it all this is where all the work was at you know this is where all the work was at the mechanic side to make it all happen I love it I think it's beautiful. To me, it's just like artwork, you know? That is, that is human ingenuity. That is past knowledge of man that we've learned how to do these things. That's something that didn't just happen, you know? This is evolution of man learning to build these things. And uh, my structure is a simple structure by all means compared to complex structures out there in the world. But it's also a complex structure compared to a lot of other structures as well. Yeah, folks, I'm glad y'all are on here sharing this ride with me. You know, sharing a man's passion for what he enjoys to do. Seeing a man's love for a woman and what he's willing to do for her, you know. Not be so selfish and greedy in this world. I sure appreciate you all here being able to see all this and give your input. I appreciate it a lot. And, and I hope it inspires any one of you to follow your dream. And I know it is because I read the comments. And I like that, man. I like it. You guys are saying, man, you know, I plan on building in Papanga. I plan on building in Beekle. I plan on building in Legazby. I plan on building and Lete and Mindanao and Mindoro and Northern Luzon and I mean all these places that you guys are writing me about that you have already either built and you built a dream you're trying to get back to it because you're locked out of the country or you're planning to build as soon as things open up to fulfill your dream for the person and the life that makes you happy and uh some of you say you're living vicariously through me right now. Maybe you can't afford to do a project like this, but you can enjoy watching someone else do it, or maybe you're waiting your chance to do yours. But whatever it is, I'm so glad that we have this community, this soundboard to share with each other. Maybe you're an OFW that you've earned and been saving money, and you plan on building your home. Maybe you're a sea captain, a seaman. It's not all just expats here. It's expats, it's OFWs, uh, it, it's all of us. Yeah, all of us sharing for a dream. So uh, any of you out there watching this, and just remember, just remember, you can go after your dream, you can. Just be calm, work hard, be smart with your money, don't waste it on nonsense, and you can build something long lasting. Let's look at this view out here again. I'm gonna eat me some lunch. Isn't that just beautiful? Just beautiful. Best part I like is me being a Texas cattleman. I get to listen to the cows bella behind me, Melinda's mom's cows. It's like I have Texas right behind me here. House Hightower and their seat of the Hightower in Old Town is one of the most important and powerful vassals of House Tyrell of the Reach. Matching up to this claim is Old Town itself, one of the largest and oldest cities in Westeros, 
built by the first men many years before the Andals descended upon the country.